up, you guys? Sharon Miss Prime here doing another Marvel Select figure review on the Marvel Select Wolverine figure from the Wolverine movie from Diamond Select Toys. This review is brought to you by MarvelousNews.com. Make sure you check them out for all the latest in Marvel-related news. And if you're trying to get this Wolverine figure and you can't find it at your local comic book shop because you can only get it online or at your local comic book store, I suggest you go to Big Bad Toy Store. Big, big, big. Get your big, badass toys at BigBadToyStore.com. Click the link in the description below. Here's Wolverine in the packaging. This looks really cool actually. Here's the side of the packaging over here. Missed out on getting the t-shirt of this at San Diego Comic Con. Didn't want to wait in the five hour line. And here's the back of the packaging right here. Not showing any other figures which is kind of strange. And if you want to read up the whole bio on Wolverine you could pause it right now. Really, really cool figure. This is probably one of the best, actually, this is the best Wolverine figure to ever come from Marvel Select, in my opinion, because this is the only one that I've really wanted to get. And if you're a big fan of head, you're really going to love this figure because, you know, he comes with three heads. And he comes with three sets of hands, too. So let's get a closer look at his first head. So I lied. We're looking at the katana first. Very nice katana blade over here. I like the silver paint application on here. Looks cool. A little bit of chunkage right here at the end, but not a big deal, and it's not super pointy, but not a big deal. I like the gold paint apps over here. The handle looks pretty nice. Nice sculpted detail with these diamonds going through it. Overall, this looks pretty cool. This part looks nice, nicely sculpted. And it's not tough to get him to hold it in his hands either, by the way. He has these two regular gripping hands right here, and they fit in there very nicely. Nicely snug, and it's not tough, and there's no paint rubbing or anything like that. So I really appreciate that. That's pretty cool. So head number one, the grumpy face. Oh, he's so mad. Look at that. Now, I think it's kind of weird. It looks like they sculpted some hair on his chin over here, and then they realized, oh, wait, he's not supposed to have a full-on beard, and then they just painted it up to here, to his mutton chops, which is a good save, but you can still kind of see some hair sculpted on his chin. But overall, I really like this face sculpt. I think they did some really nice detail in the eyes. They even have some pink painted over here at the bottom part of his eyes. I like the paint variation in his hair. The hair sculpt is pretty damn accurate to the movie, I believe, anyway. And I really like the skin tone. I think there's this nice detailed paint variation right there in his skin tone. It looks very cool. You can see that there's like this lightly sprayed over or painted on skin tone over the base color of the figure itself. And the heads pop off fairly easy. You just... Yeah, there you go. And it's on this kind of peg thing. Allows for some movement. And then we'll get to head number two. And pop this on, which isn't too tough. There you go. And head number two, the angry one. So I'm calling this the grumpy one. This is the angry one. And, you know, pretty nice. Very similar. Uh, you can see the difference in the facial expression. I mean, this one's a lot more angry. The eyebrows are, are angry on both of them, but this one's got the teeth showing. Nice details sculpted over there. Again, nice paint applications. I think it looks pretty cool. I think the pink under his eyes sticks out a little bit more on this one than the other one. I really like this one. I think I'm going to have mine posed with this one more than the other faces. <laughs> Wow, okay, so that's a crazy face for sure. Yep, full-blown crazy. I don't know about this one. I just don't like the eyes. I think they did a good job sculpting the mouth over here and everything. This looks pretty dope. I think they did a good job with that. The eyes just look a little big to me. It looks a little like on anime side, right? I don't know. I think it's kind of strange. I wouldn't say it's terrible. It's just that the eyes look kind of strange. Well, he's supposed to have crazy eyes. I don't know. Just looks a little on the cartoony side. I think the skin tone on the rest of the figure came out very nice. I like it. It looks pretty natural. Some can argue it. I like it. The hair right there is all painted on, so that's not sculpted on chest hair or anything. The veins are all sculpted, though. I don't know. I really like this flesh tone. I think it looks pretty damn cool. There's one of his hands. There's his abs. For the ladies! More veins and everything. Looks sharp. Really like how the hands look. Nice detail on the belt buckle over here. I like how the pants came out. You get a bunch of different colors. Well, you got like some purple over the green and some brown over the green. Nice look. I really like how the dirt on the pants came out. Looks pretty damn cool. And the boots came out really sharp also. Nice wash on the boots and the laces came out really clean and everything too. I think this is very, very nice. They did a great job. Look at how rugged that looks. Perfect. I like it. And here's the back of the figure over here. Pretty consistent throughout. So like I said, he has interchangeable hands, so you can just pop them off like so, and they pop off fairly easy. It gets kind of tricky putting them on. I'm going to put on his bone claws first. This hinge over here will make it kind of fall over, so on some of them, you kind of want to push down while it's bent like that. You push in like that way, and then tilt it forward, and then finish it off and push it in like that. 
because I get kind of scared of breaking these, even though it seems pretty durable, but still, nice bone claw over here on this left hand, and having the open hand is a trip too, I've never really seen that on a figure before, I don't know, that's pretty new to me, but I really like how the bone claw came out, nice detailed sculpt on here, and here's the right hand over here, very nice as well, I think the claws came out very straight, I like it. Looks pretty damn cool. And here's his metal claws over here. Looking pretty nice. I don't remember in the movie if the middle ones were longer than the rest or not. For some reason that doesn't ring a bell. I don't remember the middle one being the longest, but I know the claws were slightly different. I just thought it was the back ends of the claws that were kind of different. I didn't know the middle one was the longest, but I don't think it looks bad. In the comics he's drawn like this sometimes, so it's cool with me. I don't really care. But I think the claws came out very straight. His head moves up just a little bit, but you can half it on this peg over here, so you can get him to look even more far upwards. It looks a little weird over here, but from certain angles it looks just fine, so you can kind of cheat. It looks down just a tiny bit. His head moves left and right, and you get a little bit of a neck pivot, not too much. He has ball jointed shoulders that move all the way up like that. That's pretty cool. Or you could spin it all the way around, move it up that way, so it moves forward and outward. You have a bicep swivel right here. He's got single jointed elbows. Move at 90 degrees that's pretty cool the wrist moves side to side they move down they move up he has a decent diaphragm joint that moves side to side you can pivot right over here a little bit it moves forward and back a little bit so that's pretty cool and he has a DCUC gaping crotch bits right over here which actually doesn't look so bad it doesn't have that huge cut going inward and up you know what I'm talking about so you can move it outward you can move it forward very far forward which is cool he has an upper thigh swivel double jointed knees which is awesome he has boot rotation right here he has ankles that move down they move up and he's got the ankle pivot oh yeah I love the ankle pivot man so awesome and he has peg holes at the bottom of his feet and nice detailed sculpted boot so this Wolverine figure stands just over 7 inches tall. And here he is next to the big time letdown Spider-Man. Yes, he's back. And here he is compared to the Marvel Legends X-Force Wolverine. Here he is compared to the Marvel Select First Avenger Captain America. Wouldn't it be so sick if Marvel had the rights to all the Marvel characters? Here's the shiny, amazing Spider-Man Spider -Man figure. And yeah, he's quite a bit taller than this guy. It really did go short on the amazing Spider-Man figure. But it is Hugh Jackman. He's like 6'5 or whatever. But this Wolverine figure isn't so tall where it would look bad having him face off against some of the heavy hitters. So I think that's pretty cool. This is a movie style figure but I really think he looks good enough to be like a comic figure you know what I mean I don't know I think it's just a really badass figure overall is what I'm trying to get at I really really like it a lot highly recommend it costs about 22 bucks I picked this guy up at my local comic book store go side comics and I hope you guys like my review all right I'll catch you guys later peace Rah!